Good day everyone! Uh, so it's not going to be a scripted video, so I am apologizing beforehand for any silent moments which are inevitable in this video. <laughs> uh, by the way, thanks to Haitian Trader who pointed me towards this article. So it's a sad day, but not surprising. So Steam no longer accepts Bitcoin due to high fees and volatility. But of course, the main reason is high fees because players uh, who want to purchase a game which costs $30 have to pay $30 additionally uh, for their transaction to be confirmed. It's a big problem currently in Bitcoin space, especially when Bitcoin uh, is reaching absolutely unbelievable new highs. <clears throat> it's a problem for day-to-day -day payments. So this graph I downloaded SCV file from blockchain.info. You can do it yourself. Um, blockchain.info is the best source of statistical data for my presentation on Bitcoin blockchain. So here we have cost per transaction. <clears throat> and as you can see, in April 2016, Steam added bitcoins as a means of payment. Added Bitcoin gateway for players to purchase games using bitcoins. Uh, during this time, actually, uh, average bitcoin fee was in cents. So you could purchase any game and you you would pay cents uh, as transaction fee. And, and currently you have to pay about $20. Uh, but why is this graph uh, not showing us um, those numbers? Just because it's a average numbers. Uh, and average numbers, they sometimes do not represent the true numbers we usually uh, pay as transaction fees. So high fees make it impossible to use Bitcoin as a means of payment. And currently Bitcoin is used as a store of value. But we have Lightning Network, which will be able to solve this Bitcoin problem. In comparison, Ether transaction fees are about 30 cents currently, even though uh, Ethereum capitalization currently stands at about 45, 50 billion dollars. So what about Light Lightning Network? Uh, so it's coming recently, they made updates and it seems like uh, the date when Bitcoin will become, become scalable it's not very far away, but we still have to wait for this moment. Um, okay, guys, that was pretty much it for this video. If you liked this short uh, video uh, review of the news article, then thumbs up. If you didn't like this kind of content, then, thumb, then you put thumbs down. Thank you for following my work. Bye.